Tonight, one of Northern California's most exclusive luxury hotels will have to pay nearly $2 million in fines for cutting off the public's access to the beach. Night Beats Marine Medina reports from Half Moon Bay where the Ritz Carlton just got slapped with the second largest penalty in the Coastal Commission's history. Maria? Down the road from here is the Ritz Carlton Half Moon Bay, where rooms easily go for more than $1,000. What's free here is the access to the beach, but the public complained they were denied that access. It's quiet, calm, and you know, it's clean. Kathy Messina drove from San Jose to Cañada Verde Beach because of the views and because she knew she would find parking. On the weekdays, I know I can find parking. On the weekends, there's no parking. But that may soon change. The Ritz Carlton Half Moon Bay Hotel just agreed to pay the California Coastal Commission $1.6 million in penalties for repeatedly denying the public access to the coast for nearly two decades. The hotel must also add more public parking spaces at a nearby lot and add signs that make it clear the hotel's garage also has 25 public parking spots for beachgoers. The Ritz Carlton effectively stole from the people of California because one of the things that makes California so great is that we get to go to the beach. According to the Coastal Commission, soon after the Ritz Carlton opened in 2001, the public claimed that hotel workers denied use of the public garage parking spaces. Beachgoers reported the hotel would use the spots for valet cars. Like people are looking at you and... Kathy like, says she parked at the Ritz once and never tried again. I know the security is around there, so you kind of feel like you're not a guest. It seems like you're, like it's private and it's not well marked. And so a lot of people have stopped using the beaches there. But the Ritz Carlton has now agreed to make it clear to the public they are welcome there. Time will tell if they follow through on the agreement. They've been fined for this very same issue twice before. As taxpayers, we, we pay for these beaches. They belong to us. The hotel also agreed to do media outreach to spread the message that the public could access the beach using their property. So I reached out to the Ritz-Carlton, but I'm still waiting for a response. On the Night Beat, I'm Marie Medina.